As an Australian, I feel it's my duty to bring up this one. Is it OK to publish bikini pictures of a pregnant Kate Middleton? No. Oh. Uh, again, if you don't know, uh, Kate Middleton was snapped on holidays with Prince William uh, in a bikini, uh, and it has now been picked up by various newspapers around the world, including one gone, It really went well last time, though, as photos of Kate Middleton. Let's do it again. I don't... Well, there's an interesting quote from the editor of the magazine in Australia that said, uh, Australians are so much more laid back about seeing bikinis and beach shots than the British are. So I think there's a bit of hypersensitivity over these photos. Hypersensitivity? Like, we're the country that shows one born every minute. <laughs> I was watching that the other day and I thought it was Prometheus or something. <laughs> Alex had 3D glasses on. Going, this... <laughs> here's, OK, here's the next quote. It was the start of the... This is from the editor. The start of the pregnancy wasn't that nice, as we all know. So to see her now glowing, beautiful, happy, enjoying this holiday, it's really nice. And I think our readers would like to celebrate it with us. Fuck off! <laughs> Just stop being dicks. <laughs> if you're taking a photo of a pregnant woman on a beach, you're being a dick. Most pregnant women I've met wouldn't want their photos in magazines. If you sell those photos to a magazine, you're being a dick. <laughs> you're on a private island. You don't need to sell photos of people you don't know to make money. If you're buying those photos to publish in your magazine, you're being a dick. <laughs> don't try to pretend it's in the public interest. When they ask why you're doing it, be honest and say, because we're greedy demon spawn. <laughs> and if you're buying that magazine, you're being a dick. Because <laughs> you're contributing to the culture that perpetuates this type of behaviour. For the love of God, people, can we just all stop being dicks? <laughs> Paddy Power, when you get to hell, and you will go to hell, there will be a special place reserved for you. When you arrive into the fiery abyss, you'll be led past Fred West, Pol Pot and Jimmy Sack. OK, turn to nine o'clock. No. That's three o'clock. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, uh, take about two steps forward, cos you're going to have to come from the other side.